Hey guys, it's Chevy here with my dad. Hey everybody. And Todd's here with the green treads, and we'll tell you why he's in green treads in a little bit. <laughs> You're having trouble keeping and, them up. And Vector also uh, just hang out. Yeah, Vector's just hanging out. So we're gonna show some stuff that Cosmo does today that is not yet enabled for Vector. We're hoping one day some of this stuff does get enabled. But what do we have, Sebi? Cosmo Performs. Ooh, looks pretty cool. So they've added two new things. What Cosmo else did they add? Cosmo Performs and Cosmo's Free Time. Yeah, we're gonna... But we're gonna do Cosmo's Performance. Yeah, Cosmo's Free Time will be another video. We're gonna showcase some of the features of Cosmo Performs and show you how that works, because it's pretty cool. Okay, so before we start with Cosmo Performance, we're gonna show you something Code Lab that we created so that you can create it with Cosmo Performance. It's called Zombie. And Cosmo is going to pretend to be a zombie. Ooh, that looks scary. That's why he has the green treads, right? Yeah. So what do we make? How does this work? So first he's going to drive 50 meters. 50 millimeters. So 50 millimeters, sorry. That's okay. Um, and then he's going to do a zombie animation. And then he's going to drive 50 millimeters again. And then he's going to do another zombie animation. And then, it, and then he's going to say, haha, just kidding. I am not a zombie. And then he's going to be happy. It's happy animation. Yeah. All right, so hit play and let's show this. Ooh, scary. He's moving forward again. And a zombie again. So he creeps forward as a zombie. Nice program, Sebby. Way to go. That was a quick and easy one. And so with the drive forward, with the code lab, you have a lot more choices here. You can drive at a certain speed. You can drive a certain distance. There's a ton of animations. And meanwhile, Sebby, why don't you hit the animations button and look at all the new animations they've added. Um, actually, go back and change the zombie animation. And look at this. So scroll down. This is unbelievable. I don't know how long we haven't looked at Code Lab and I'm mad at myself, but watch, keep going. Uh, Wheeze and woes and starings and squints and ghoul, vampire, frog, sheep, duck, tiger, elephant, chicken, and rattlesnake. <laughs> so now we can really have some fun with uh, our beloved Cosmo. But Vector, you're not quite ready to do that yet, are you, Vector? All right, so let's show uh, what we created in the new feature. Okay, so now we're going to go into Cosmo Performs and show you the same exact thing that we just showed you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. cool. So this was a little easier to create. We'll talk about this in a second. So Sebi's going to hit play. And I'm going to try to keep them both in it. See the animation on the left. Now he's moving forward. <laughs> Zombie again. He's fine. Way to go, Cosmo. Nice job. There's Vector just chilling out over there. Well, I accidentally deleted the last two functions down there, but Cosmo Performs is really for anyone, but it actually works really well for younger kids. I would say, I mean, look, as young as two or three that can understand the concepts of, of creating things. So, Sebi, why don't you hit the delete button so on there? So, this is the delete button, and then you just click where the X is, and then you can go back. And then you can just keep what you have. Supposed. Yeah, so you can just add things in and start over again. Um, things like go forward, you don't get to pick the speed or the distance. It's just to go forward at a preset level. Why don't you scroll up and down? Not all of the features are enabled, all of the um, animations and stuff, but a lot of them are there. Um, and you can just start adding something in. So why don't you go ahead and add something in, Sebby? And we'll just show how it works. So Dizzy, he clicks it, it shows up. And then hit the plus sign now. And boom, it just drops it in. Now go ahead and hit play. Who was doing Dizzy just now? Oh, that was Cosmo, because yeah. you hit it. He was showing it. So here he goes. He's going to growl like a zombie. Then he's going to move forward. And then he's going to do his Dizzy animation. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if Sebi's seen Vector yet. Why don't you shake Vector, Sebi, and show Vector's um, Dizzy animation. Oh, you did? Okay. And put him down. 
So there's Vector's uh, Dizzy Animation, which is kind of cool too. We showed that in our last video. So it's pretty cool. Um, one of the drawbacks that I noticed was, how many boxes are there for animations, Evie? Uh, there's only six boxes. There's only six. So they're really short animations. I'm hoping that maybe they enable it to be a few more so you could really code. Because this is a really fast and easy way for anyone to create... Uh, who said your name? Vector? Vector just said Sebi. Yeah. It's a really fast and easy way for anyone to animate. And then when you want to add the words, you just go up, why don't you hit the type up there, and, and just say hello or something like that, or hi, and then hit good, and hi. Now hit the plus sign, it'll drop it in. And there you go, and it just drops it in like that. So it's a really easy way to not use Code Lab. Oh, he's dancing. Let's see. <laughs> I like the uh, icon that has the dancing yeah. feature. Although it would be cool if it was a robot kind of. He's still going. It'd be pretty cool if it was a robot dancing. So that's it for the new feature. And we'll probably be using this uh, more in uh, different videos as we move forward. But Cosmo performs. It's pretty cool. And uh, next time we'll show uh, Cosmo free time. Wanted to kind of separate these two. Hello, Cosmo. Where's Vector? Bring him over. We'll say goodbye. Wanna wrap it up, Sebby? Vector's <laughs> just moving backwards. <laughs> See you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Later, everybody.